Hi everybody, welcome back to Bring Life Indoors. It's Moira here. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're doing well and keeping warm. I just came back from dropping my son at school. And um, yeah, this morning I decided to clean up my propagation station, um, change water, wash the bottles and refill and put back the plants in, in the water. Um, so yeah, and I was... I started doing it and I, I thought, why not record this? I mean, yeah, I've never really shown you. I don't know if I've done, I probably have done a video like this. I need to go check. But if I have, why not do do another one? <laughs> if I haven't, great. But I think I have. So I thought, why not uh, do it together with you and show you the whole process of cleaning the station is something I do once in a while. I don't do it regularly. Regularly, all I do is change water um, or refill when it, it when the water levels have come down. Uh, but after some time, I I clean the bottles. I really throw water out and wash the bottles, and you know, uh, yeah. So that's what I'm doing today. So I'll take you through I'll take you through the whole process with me and show you exactly what I do I've already started like I said so yeah let's see so here yeah, I've taken the plants out out of the the first station um, so they're all here I've taken them all out here are all the plants here are the empty bottles I've put a uh, dishwashing liquid drops of dishwashing washing liquid inside i'm gonna put boiling water and wash and rinse these bottles um then i have this one to tackle so yeah okay i've got boiling water with me i'm going to obviously fill this up with boiling water and we'll take it from there just that much, not completely full. Um, this propagation station is something I display with. Um, it's, it's also beautiful to display with your propagations. They make a very beautiful, they make a very beautiful display. Um, there you go, almost there. I don't want to bend myself, this is hot. This is boiling hot. So yeah. I'm um, gonna use a sponge, just put it in there, and then you very easy, it's not difficult. <laughs> you can bring it closer. There we go. So, yeah, that's how I clean these, and then I'm done. And I'm going to go like that through each bottle. So it makes a bit of a mess, but hey. So, to clean up all this. I love clean. Um, I mean, if if you're presenting plants with 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 glasses, so you know, you want it to be nice and clean. You know? No funny business. There you go. This water is hot. Almost there. Probably should have put a towel on the floor to make less work for myself. Yeah. 
I've put a towel on the floor. That way, I don't need, I don't need to mop the floor. There we go. Now we're going to get the water out. Start here at the bottom. Get the water out. There we go. I've done this for myself um, if you want to see a video of of me doing this station I'll link it on the description below it's very easy you know it doesn't require many things to make it just need this panel <laughs> I didn't build this myself okay but yeah I had these panels lying around in the garage and then I just decided to turn them into a prog propagation wall, propagation, yeah, wall situation. Okay, we're gonna give them a, a, a rinse and we are done with this section. I need to get more water. Very quick and easy. Gonna rinse them out. There we go. And we're done. Now we're gonna put back our plants. That was quick. And then I'm gonna do the other one. Now this is how I clean this station up. Um, the last bottle. Okay. Now I'm gonna take my cloth. Just give it a dusting. wipe okay. so that's it um, there we go now nice and clean now I'm going to add uh, my plants but I firstly want to wash my plants um, give them a good rinse I'm just quickly going to rinse the plants. 
always good to when you change the water to rinse your plants if you see any um, mushy roots like rotten roots and that's what I'm doing to remove anything that is uh, brown, rotten, mushy, you know. Otherwise, that water will be contaminated. There we go. Now it's ready to go back in there. I'm going to do that with all, the, all my propagations. Alrighty, now we're gonna put them back in. We're gonna start with this. This is a piece lily. Uh, we're gonna start with this. Put it right in. Need one here. Okay, this is not the. <laughs> yeah, this is this is not the fun part. I must be honest. That's why I don't do this often. I do it when I feel it's necessary. Okay.
I am done. Here is my propagation wall. Um, I've decided not to take it back to my bedroom. If you follow me on Instagram or even here on YouTube, you will know these have been in my bedroom for a while and I've enjoyed them so much. But I have felt over time that this wall is so empty. It's so empty. Um, I've moved the shelf that has... Ow! There's drums here. Yeah, my son's drums are here. I've moved the uh, the shelf that was sitting here to there, meaning to there. <laughs> so yeah, I've moved it from here because I wanted to put the drums here. I needed a place for the drums for our son Jonathan. So um, yeah, so but I felt after I've done that, I've always felt this wall is now empty. You know what I mean? It's empty. So I decided this morning I'm not moving this propagation station back to my bedroom. I'm going to keep them here. Um, but it's one of those. It's one of those. I must be, I must say, um, I love changing things up. I don't like having things the same for a long time. I love things and changing things up. I love decorating. I love playing around with items in the house. See how this one will look here or there. You know, I love moving things around. I enjoy it. And there's times when I do that and the idea I had in, I had in my head works out and I love it immediately. It's not an issue. It's like, wow, it works and I love it. And there's times like today, the idea I have in my head, once I have done it, um, actually really put it into action, I'm not quite sure how I feel about it. And this is one of them. I don't really know how I feel about it. I think it looks good, but I'm not quite convinced as to, I don't know. I don't quite know how I feel about it. So when I feel like that, many times after I've changed things up and I don't quite know where I am, how I really feel about it. Um, I take a drive or I sleep on it or I leave it for a few days. And if I still feel like that after that, I dismantle the whole thing or I put back, I put it back where it was or I do something different. So um, I need to go get ready and take my daughter to university and from there go pick up my son. That will give me enough time to be out of the house, <laughs> few hours out of the house. And I will see when I come back how I feel about it. Just Sometimes it's good to walk away from something you have done, you are not sure about. And don't, don't, quickly, don't quickly put it apart or put it back the way it was. Just walk away from it for an hour or so or a few days or even a few minutes, you know. Distract yourself with something else and walk back into that room and see if you still feel the same way. And chances are you might not feel the same way you might actually love it so i'm gonna do that that's what i usually do when i do something and i'm not quite sure about it so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna go take a shower and take my child to university my daughter to university and go fetch my son who knows i might sit for a cup of coffee and then come later and see how i feel but anyway it's been fun go check me out on instagram i'll tell you how i felt few hours later with the station right here i keep on hitting these drums but anyway i look forward to your comment let me know what you think i'm gonna give you a few a, a full view of the room this is our music room it's more like my plant room slash our music room <laughs> Yeah, so it's our children. It's where we play music and it's where I have most of my plants. Um, so yeah, um, it's a, I love it. It's a beautiful corner. We call it a music corner because literally it's a corner. It's not a square room. It's really like a triangle. You know, it's like shaped like a triangle. So it comes in like that. It's a very awkward, weird room. But I love it. I really do love it. It gets bright light throughout the day i get morning sun in here and i do get afternoon sun also with this window so it's a beautiful room to have your plants in i love it so i'm going to give you a full view but other than that it's been fun thank you so much for joining me i'm going to flip this camera around and show you how it all looks all together 
and say goodbye while I do that. Alrighty, here is the full, full view of the room. Please ex excuse the lighting. As I said, this is our music room and um, you can say plant corner. So here is the shelf that used to be there, which I have moved. Um, yeah, so that space is pretty much empty. And uh, this is what was going on around here. Oops, sorry. Um, so yeah, this is how it looks. Um, I've got plants. I've got a window here, which is lovely. And I've got a window here, which is also awesome. You know. And, um, yeah. This is how it looks. And there's two more windows. Or you can say three. Um, so, yeah. That's how this room looks and that's our art wall <laughs> yeah so yeah let me know what you think but anyway it's been fun thank you so much for watching until next time have yourself a beautiful beautiful day bye